Hello today, so welcome to Alice Blue. This is the Van Gogh technical analyst of Alice Blue. So in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil, and this is crude oil four-hour chart. So I think you remember uh, my previous video, and here I told that uh, here they are forming an inverted hammer, right? Uh, yesterday. So this candlestick pattern, so this is called bearish candlestick pattern. So these bearish candlestick pattern are forming in a right place, right? Uh, because yesterday I already explained the trend is down and in between that, uh, in that trend, we have seen a bearish candlestick pattern, right? Like that, it is called inverted hammer or some people are called uh, like a dozy pattern, right? So in that area, I told that you can place a buy or oh, sorry a sell order just below around the 10 point below right i given i think you remember uh, 3878 just place a sell order and keep your sl just 50 point above right and i uh, already explained how to do the money management and position sizing so yesterday i told if you have one lakh money sorry if you have one lakh money so you can buy you can sell uh, two lot right two lot so if you sold here two lot right now you can see the price is running 3809 uh, so let me calculate here uh, here you can see here was our entry point and 50 point uh, just above here 50 point our, our sl and here you can see our target was a little more here but right now you can see 70 is showing here 70 point so 70 point uh, like a two lot is 140 point and uh, into 10 uh, 1400 rupees already you earn like 1.7 r right uh, so you can see why i told because here they form a very scandalistic pattern right that is what i told so let's see today what we can do here so if you want to see in a daily search, so have you seen this is a daily search? Daily search still running in a downtrend. But one thing remember here, after creating this double bottom, right, they create an impulsive wave. Have you seen? This is a uh, first bottom, second bottom. So let's see, this is a A point and this is called B point, right? So according to the layout wave, when they are forming this impulsive wave, after that they are creating corrective wave so corrective wave there is a various type of corrective wave uh, so if you are not able to uh, if you don't have any idea that corrective wave you just visit to our page so i already explained uh, that thing okay i'll i'll show you just a minute so you just visit to allies blue uh, and iq page here we'll see this is a uh, cycle indicator right i post here like a cycle indicator so once you click there you will find this Iliad wave right so let me show you this is a Iliad wave pattern you just click here read more right uh, once you click in a read more so you will find impulsive wave have you seen this is a impulsive wave uh, this is impulsive wave right so impulsive wave that means this is impulsive wave right and when prices retrace this wave known as corrective wave right so we need corrective wave okay so let me show you the corrective various type of corrective wave now have you seen there is a six type of corrective wave right that means we people are say the price is retracing when price is retracing they are forming six type pattern right have you seen this is one called zigzag pattern flat pattern irregular pattern uh, horizontal triangle double three triple three that type so they are forming this type of uh, pattern right now you can see the price is creating zigzag pattern right zigzag uh, corrective wave right so I'll, I'll show you in the real market so here you can see uh, this is uh, this is uh, impulsive wave have you seen uh, this is impulsive wave right uh, you can see this is a point and uh, this is a B point. This is a daily. Okay. I just analyzing daily right now. And after that, I'll tell you. And we need, this is a C point. C, that means they are running like that. Right. This is running like that. And a C point. A, this BC, BC corrective wave is called retracement. 
so all right retracement so this is called retracement now you can see if you want to use the fibonacci so at that time we always use fibonacci so let me connect this fibonacci have you seen they are retracing 60 uh 68 percent i'll show you just a minute okay now have you seen uh 61 percent they retraced have you seen this is a 61 percent retraced so if you want to know more about the fibonacci you can visit there we already post the fibonacci so uh here you can see this is a retracement wave so we have to find out the retracement zone like you can say like that supporting zone right so let me remove right now i think you were able to understand what i told now you can see here i draw a zone all right have you seen this is called supporting zone have you seen this two line i just draw a two line sometime we have to find out the zone also not only line so now you can see price might reverse up to this area this zone so once they break so we'll confirm the price will continue toward upside because this is impulsive wave and right now it is called corrective wave entire wave we know as a corrective wave remember now price is uh, that means crude oil is in a, a corrective wave right so we are looking for enter right now now have you seen here just price is just near uh, this supporting area uh, this is called supporting area or you can say supporting zone right in between this area so we are looking for a buy signal above this supporting zone right remember and if price break this level if price break this level this uh, 3744 uh, if price break this level definitely we will start selling below this level remember we never take any sell position above this area never gonna buy uh, sorry sell above this supporting zone so have you seen this is supporting zone we never take any sell position so we'll close our sell position and after that we are looking for a buy position above remember above 3798 above buy below 3744 below in between people are most people are thinking uh here uh let me show you how many points are there here we can see uh, here we have seen almost 60 to 70 point so most of the people are thinking why we uh, miss this uh, 60 to 70 don't try to catch every point you can't do that so that is why you always find out your entry point so above 3789 we are looking for a buy signal buy indicator so we will start buying from there below 3744 we are looking for a sell signal not buy signal sell signal right now below so we'll start selling from there next target will be 3533 three. remember why it's important you can see this was this zone was pbs uh, they are forming a resistance in this area right now it's uh, becoming a support both side they are respecting remember resistance side respecting right resistance respecting and here support are respecting both sides when both sides are respecting respecting each forming a strong support and resistance remember so that is why we are looking for buy above sell below this area right so this is a daily chart now you can see here in 15 minutes have you seen this is a 15 minute now you can see in a 15 minute we are looking for you have own trading strategy right i think uh, everybody have own trading strategy some people are using super 10 like uh, super 10 is running like that running like that here is forming a resistance line right this is super 10 once candle break this super 10 you can go for buy because it's a valid because here is a supporting line right Sub supporting area that is why we're gonna buy right and you can see another I most uh, I use here moving average cross bar like 20 moving average is running like that five moving average will be here and cross once they cross I'll start buying right uh, similarly here you can see this was cross right here was cross like that and I'm looking for 
uh, by above uh, this supporting line right in case market comes in this zone so i never gonna buy so i am waiting to break this below line right let me show you here you can see in this zone right so this is called zone right in a 15 minutes so i am looking for buy signal above this zone right if moving average cross each other five uh, seven moving average cross 20 so i will start buying and the target will be here somewhere uh, 398 right my uh, target and i will place my sl here right so and another signal you can see here if they are forming a, a candlestick pattern suppose they form a doji pattern like that i'll start above this doji pattern right and i'll keep sl just below and i'll do the money management i'll count so yeah, previous uh, yesterday i told how to use that one and you can see some people are using rsi and some people are using this one uh, this is called percentage r cross 50 level so definitely i'll go for buy and i'll keep sl just below here by doing money management right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching